What should we as a society stop making people feel insecure about? Being quiet. You never say anything is such a weird way to both draw attention to someone and give them nothing to work with. The way someone laughs. This world is cold and unforgiving. Laughing makes it all a little less heavy. Who gives a FCK or what it sounds like? Trade school gap years college right after HS isn't for everyone. Your choice of career. Being wrong. It's okay to be wrong. Just be open to learning. Instead of doubling down or getting angry. Being an introvert doesn't mean you can't have fun with people. Their jobs. If you clean fix sewerage pipes. Then thanks for your service. Making any kind of mistake. Social media has created an illusion that everyone has to be perfect. Aging and the unavoidable physical changes that come with it. Your job. Too many people are elitist about someone's occupation and look down on essential workers. Having acne. It doesn't mean you're dirty or don't wash your face. It's simply a skin condition some people get and some people don't. Needing mental health treatment. Mental health struggles. There's absolutely nothing wrong with taking time to figure out what process works for you. Despite why people around you might want to tell you. Exercising in public. To me anyone giving it a go. No matter their physical ability. Deserves praise. Baldness. It doesn't seem to be as common for it to happen naturally with women. But for men and women. It can be a really sore subject. Especially if it starts happening at a fairly early age. You could be in control of every other aspect of your life. But if you start losing hair early. It can take the wind out of your sails. Edit. Ro. Thanks for the gold and all the supportive comments. Seeing the responses here has shown me that there are more positive perceptions on bald balding people than I thought. Bowel movements. As someone with ibs. It happens a lot. Yes I was in the restroom for 20 minutes. There's nothing I can do about it. It's much harder on me than it is on you. Excitement. Let people be excited about shti. Let them like things you don't. Let people express powerful positive emotions. And cry. And get deep into how to show anger respectfully. Not being active on social media. Dark eye bags. Edit. I like my eye bags I am just tired of people giving me unsolicited advice about it. I am also tired of others telling to use makeup to hide them. Like no thank you. Not having relationships with some or all family members. Some people just suck. Being too shy to jump into conversations. Crooked teeth. They grew in that way and my parents, divorced, both had insurance on me. But argued over whose responsibility it should be. Well now it's mine but I can't afford it. Reading the directions. Everything that doesn't harm others but makes the person happy. Be silly. Enjoy yourself. Takes now angles in the rain. I don't care. I'm a cleaner in this. I've literally had people say to me after I tell them. So you studying or what are you looking to do? I'd never clean toilets and the worst one was so. Just haven't found your dream job yet? Apostrophe. Like. No. Greg. I'm OCD and have ADD. This is my dream job. I'm on my feet all day. I get to make things perfect and the satisfaction is incredible for my mental health. I'm able to support myself and my son and and I also get to help the elderly and disabled. Who wouldn't want to have that chance on a daily basis? Also. Clean your fking toilet Greg. It's grotty as hell. Being short. Not associating with a toxic family or family member. The blood is thicker than water thing is BS. Some families are abusive. Manipulative. Neglectful. Etc. If you choose not to have them in your life. That's perfectly okay. Liking pretty things. 
Too many people have this idea that pretty things are childish and you need to be moody and ironically dark. Fool. Look at that beautiful flower and stop pretending to be miserable before you actually convince yourself that you are. Eater. Bro. Thank you guys so much for the awards and karma. You're all pretty things. Buying condoms. Please. It's really important. Teeth. They aren't meant to be fully white and perfectly aligned. Having some skewness and discoloration is okay as long as it's not affecting you. Edit. The way you look in any form that was a result of your genetics. Honestly the way you look period. Some people dress a certain way because they are depressed. Some because they want to be different. Some people have much bigger fish to fry than putting on appearances for others. Receding hairline. Small dicks. It may be small and skinny. Being poor. It's not a choice. I am doing the best I can and just because I receive food stamps or any other type of assistance doesn't make me a pose. I see a lot of hate for poor people. Like we are supposed to fit this stereotype with dirt on our face and stained up clothes. It isn't so far fetched to think my designer clothes come from a thrift store. My nails are press on from the dollar store and my iPhone is so old it still has a headphone jack. Being a virgin. Penis breast size. Whether we're wearing makeup or not being allowed to wear makeup. Having the next shiny gadget that will get replaced soon. Having and expressing your emotions without being called a bitch or a pansy. Being an emotional male. Of course there's times where you just can't be. But generally I think that it should be okay without being called a PSSY. Mental health. I can't tell you how many times people have tried to shame me for having bipolar disorder. Wanting a real life. Menstruation oh yeah, oh yeah, honestly not that scary. And can we normalize men buying menstrual products for their partners? Big noses. Fear cute. Living with your parents. Crying. It doesn't make you weak. Dramatic. Or over emotional. It's your body's natural response to an overload of emotions and it's one of the healthiest ways to express them. This is more for the United States I think from what I've read. But. Taking your vacation days taking off work. Corporate America makes people feel like they shouldn't be taking vacation days or can't take off. I know personally at my job. People take vacation days and still email work all day long. We get vacation days for a reason and don't owe our companies anything. So they shouldn't make us feel insecure about taking them when we want and need to. Mental illness and addiction. Body hair. Everything. Mind your own business and don't be a dick. Edit. Thanks for the awards. That's a first. And to generally address some of the comments below. There's obviously a line between mind your own business and step in to assist someone who might need help. I prefer to leave that open to interpretation by the person in a situation that requires intervention. Kind of case by case so I don't think we can come to one agreement on the topic. Thoughts? Being introverted. Veginal discharge. And we, people with veganus so they know they're normal and those with penises so they don't judge us for it should be taught about it from a young age. For a long time I didn't know it was normal until about a year ago. Not wanting to have a lover. I personally don't care for a love life. I believe the term for this is aromantic, but I haven't told anyone because I feel like the response I'll get will be along the lines of you haven't found the right one or aromantic as all people don't exist. Edit. Ooh, wow. Thank you so much for the award. I can't thank you enough. Stretch marks? It absolutely baffles me when people talk about stretch marks negatively. They're like birthmarks in my mind. Height. Just because you're not 6 feet tall. Doesn't mean you're unattractive. Also being a depressed male. If you tell a depressed male to man up. I would not like to meet you. Edit. Saying man up not to motivate someone. But in the stop being such a little btch way. Hope you all understood. Edit 2. As I can see. 
Even women suffer with not being allowed to express their emotions. To all the depressed people reading this. I wish you the best. Whether or not you're going to get married. Whether or not you're going to have kids. Whether or not you're going to have more kids. Small boobs. I hate mine and am so embarrassed about having small boobs and looking unfeminine that I always wear push up bras and never anything low cut. Edit. Thank you all for the wholesome comments. Has made me feel slightly less insecure. Colon. 3. Edit 2. Another thank you to all of you taking the time to comment. I have read and loved every single response. Pursuing your dreams. Not liking or wanting children. Is it our job as a society to cater to the insecurities of others? Being Republican. About being a virgin being sx repulsed, like me. Being conservative. Women having children. We'll have them if when we want to or are able to. It's none of anyone else's business when a woman is or isn't going to have a kid. So many people have fertility issues. Money problems or just simply don't want children ever and they shouldn't have to explain that to anybody. Living at home with parents as adults. Wages are so damn low. Student loan debt so damn high. Rent price is high. I mean WTF am I supposed to do? Plus the amount of money I spend on healthcare a month leaves me cashless. I can't cough up one dollar. 800 a month for my own studio here in SoCal even though I work full time for a job that requires a BA degree. Sometimes living at home with parents is the most financially responsible thing someone can do. Being behind in life. Everybody has their own journey. Maybe some have kids at 20. Some at 30. Some are high up the career ladder at 25. Some start a new career at 40. There's nothing wrong with any of these. Eating my burger without lettuce. Why does it matter so much to you Sarah? Personally speaking. If we make people feel insecure regardless of what it is. We shouldn't be doing it. Having feminine or masculine stuff while being the opposite gender. Aging. Assuming you an average amount of time. You'll spend the majority of your life not in your 20s. Therapy. We all have our shti. Not going to college. There are so many trades that offer a good living. Not having kids. It's abundantly clear that not everyone feels up to the task of having kids. Don't question it. The sound of someone's laugh. Being told that having f-king emotions isn't manly. Having conservative values. Physical appearances. Sexuality. Being single or being in a relationship. Liking certain things. Living with their parents well into their 20s. There's a million reasons why someone might not be out on their own. For me personally. It's a combination of wanting to live with someone willing to isolate during the pandemic and wanting to help support my financially struggling parents. I shouldn't be judged for this decision. Others shouldn't either. Long labia does not mean you are a wh re. I don't have long labia and I was a right slag lol. Self harm. Voting your conscience. I'm fully aware that voting third party, at least at the federal level, probably won't get a third party candidate elected. But I can't in good conscience vote either main party candidate when both go against my values. That said. We need ranked voting or some such to level the playing field. Being conservative. Honestly. Body size. Now don't get me wrong. There is definitely such thing as unhealthy body weight. But when people normally point out others body weight. It's in a negative or degrading way. And scientifically. It's been proven that stress actually adds more weight than it takes away. In fact. If we made people stop feeling so insecure about their bodies. It's more likely that they would be able to leave habits that cause their bodies to be that way and pick up healthier habits that could decrease their weight. Don't normalize unhealthy body weights. Whether it be too skinny or too big. 
but get people to love themselves as they are to the point they're comfortable enough to leave where they are and take care of themselves. TL. DR. Instead of shaming people for having an overweight body. We should encourage these people to love themselves enough to get a healthier body. Because shaming them scientifically does the opposite. Edit. Added TLDR. Thank you so much for the awards. I'm new to Reddit and didn't think this would get attention. Food. Drinking water. Shelter. Clothing. Education. What career they wish to pursue. Penis size. Height. Breast size. Skin color. Sexual orientation. Gender orientation. Personal religious belief or lack thereof. Etc. Etc. Men not being manly enough. I just hate it when children are being told to man up. Poor boys get their self esteem broken at such a young age and many grow up to be assholes. I wish society would stop making me insecure about having a tummy and being overweight. Just BC I am chubby. Doesn't mean I am unhealthy. I am able to run 10 minute miles and my blood work comes out perfect. Exactly where it should be. Making people feel bad about their skills or interests because we've pointlessly gendered them. If the level 85 ninja wizard on my team is a girl and the one bringing me fresh baked cookies is a guy. The proper response is hell yeah. I have a level 85 ninja wizard on my team and fresh baked cookies and nothing more. Not getting up early. There's this idea that if you get up early then that's amazing and you have your life put together but that's just not it. Some people are morning people. Some people aren't. Rather than being made to feel guilty for getting up at 12pm, those who are students or work on weekends or whatever. Just accept that some of us work better at night. Height. How is this a judge's character? I know four wonderful hobbits for example and all are short but courageous. Funny and can eat just as much as the average bear. Their interests. Let people enjoy themselves. Let girls drink pumpkin spice. Let teens get into supernatural. I'm so tired of watching people make fun of others. Especially kids. For their interests. It seems like society should stop making short men feel so insecure. Wait. Straight up. There's this persistent mentality on reddit that fat people need to be informed that they're fat at all times. Because being fat is unhealthy or crippling or whatever argument they are using this week. But fat people are aware that they're fat. They don't need to be informed. They especially don't need it to be pointed out or ridiculed. The body positivity movement has definitely lost its roots. The current status. The one that so often gets mocked here. Preaches beauty at every size and claims you can be both fat and healthy. But the idea was supposed to be that fat people can get treated with the same dignity and humanity that thin people get treated with every day. So many fat people are insecure. Have been bullied. Publicly humiliated. Verbally mocked or physically assaulted. Simply for existing. They get treated with snark for trying to work out or eat healthily. The very thing that bullies claim they are trying to push fat people towards. And that spiral of insecurity only makes things worse and contributes to poor mental health that can in turn contribute to gaining more weight. So seconded. Wait. Straight up. Not wanting to constantly fck everything I see like yeah sx is cool but have y'all ever tried dealing with your emotional problems not just pushing it down with simple pleasures. Not having a lot of friends. Not knowing what you want to do in the future. Being a virgin. For people in the military and law enforcement roles. Most of them are trying to do a good job. Yet. Those few bad apples. Coupled with stressful working conditions. Exacerbates a lot of the problems and their mental health avenues are very limited and stigmatized. So regrettably PTSD. Abuse. And suicide rates are very high among them. And that needs to change that we can look for the good ones and get them the help they need. So they don't become another statistic furthering the decline of their morale and public perception. Taste in music movies etc. Aging. Nothing. 
This whole idea that judging people is wrong has turned our society into a bunch of pussies and safety moms who can't take simple criticism. People need to have more discipline and be more self-aware. I don't care if what I said hurt your precious little feelings because what I'm saying has nothing to do with personally attaching you. Most people perceive conflict between opinions as a personal attack. People believe calling someone gay is an insult. When the term in today's world literally means same sx couples. People think calling a black guy a black guy is racist because anything to do with skin color is also discrimination. People need to relax. Go about their own lives. And fking toughen up. Their bodies. Social status. Mental disorders. Style or taste. Gender. As an autistic person who doesn't do this but knows people who do. Physical stimming. You wanna rock back and forth in a grocery store? Be my guest. You wanna flap your hands? Be my guest. Just don't kill yourself and don't harm others. Eating disorders. Being fat. I'm depressed because of my classmates making fun of me every day. That also makes me hate what I look like. What job you have. Dick size and height of guys. Areola size and labia. The zillions of different kinds of taxes. Just do one tax. Keep it simple. Currently. Wearing a goddamn mask. We should stop making so many jokes about how ugly veganists are. Meat curtains. Making fun of women who keep all their pubes. ETC. That shit is hilarious until it ruins oral sx for you because you're too completely embarrassed by your own body parts to let someone put their mouth there. What you do for a living. Bring different. Appearance. Popularity. Trends. Not being also good enough. Size. Sexuality. Gender. Race. Religion. Mental illness. Quote unquote weakness. Opinions. The list goes on. Anyone wanting to speak to a therapist because they have a lot on their mind and need to get it out. Women choosing to not have children and live a life just for themselves. Men choosing to not have a career and live a life for their kid's spouse. People who choose to not go to college because they don't want to go. Or they already have a life plan that doesn't revolve around having a higher education. Women who choose to not wear makeup. And men who do choose to wear it.